What's good guys, it's TSG. In today's video, I'm gonna be updating you on everything Iluvatars. For anyone who's been following, we've been waiting for quite some time to get some news on what's coming next for Iluvatars. We've previously had the trailer come out. We've had a deep discussion with Roger on the Illuvium Insider, and Roger is actually the lead concept artist for all things Iluvatar. I think it's safe to say that this venture into the PFP market from Alluvium has garnered a lot of excitement, especially within the community and I know even outside of that. And lucky for us, today is the day where we actually got our hands on the new IIP regarding Alluvatars, the new proposal that's been put forward to the council for them to vote on. So in this video, we're gonna read through the IIP together and I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts and opinions on what we've been given today. The first sentence we see is already super exciting. We're ready to take the next step towards a fully layer two experience for our products. And he talks about how they want to move the entire sale onto IMX, eliminating gas completely. I think this is going to be incredible if they pull this off. He mentions that providing our customers with a largely gas free experience has always been our top priority. And it allows them to actually run the sale in different ways now that there's no limit or minimum for gas payments. Now that that's taken out of, they're able to restructure the sale in a different way that's gonna benefit the consumers or the customers. So he mentions here, because of gas fees, where each mint may be upwards of $50, we always knew we could innovate to improve the product. It made no sense for the product to have a low entry price with high gas fees. And that makes total sense. Imagine if the gas fees were, were $50, and you are only paying $20 for the product. So essentially you're paying twice as much just for gas than the actual product itself, and it doesn't make sense. The only way to get around that situation is to actually have the product more expensive than the gas to make it feel like it's even worthwhile getting into. Let me break something down before I go in a bit further. So the fact that it's on IMX, you will still need to pay gas, moving and migrating your funds from layer one to layer two. So you're gonna need one gas fee, moving it all into layer two, and every transaction on layer two after that is completely fine. There's no gas after that. He says here that now running the sale on IMX allows them to alter the prices so players can purchase packs of Illuvatars for a much lower fee. And that makes total sense. Now that there's no gas fee, essentially they're able to reduce the prices for us and make it as accessible as possible for everyone that wants to get their hands on an Illuvatar. He lists the entire summary of changes here. And this is, this is where it gets really, really exciting. So we have a look a vastly lower entry price per Louvatar with zero gas fee. Purchase NFT packs called discs that players can open when they choose. Discs will form the delivery mechanism for other products in the future, such as cosmetics. So that's really cool. So in the future, when we get skins, if we get any kind of cosmetic in the future, in the game, maybe they get it back to us, it comes in a, in a disc. Like think of it as a crate, a box, there are different words for it, but in the Illuvium universe, they're gonna go with disc. And I and I like it, it's cool. The more exciting thing about this statement is actually the first part, where it says that players can open them when they choose. So we can get a pack and decide not to open it. And as a content creator, I know I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of these and not open them and share them out in giveaways or for activities. And it just makes it really cool like that. The second thing with that, the same way that Pokemon cards, like unopened Pokemon booster packs or first edition booster boxes are worth so much because you don't know what's inside. That could be the same thing here in three to five years. We could have a disc that's been unopened from batch one and that could be, the value of that could be pretty high because people are willing to take that risk to hold on to that first batch. So having that ability to hold it unopened, I think is a great, great addition. A free tier zero Illuvatar on every basic disc. So this is again, this is quite cool. The fact that you're gonna get more than one Illuvatar per disc makes it a lot more accessible. It makes it a lot more exciting for people going into it. I know previously with the previous IIP, a lot of people felt, yo, they were paying way too much for just one Illuvatar, but it looks like they're rectifying that with this IIP here. The next point is a simplified two disc system, basic and ultra. This is amazing. I cannot tell you how happy I am to see this. The five crate system they had in the original IIP to me was just a headache. It just seemed like it was way too hard to balance and it was just gonna leave way too many people upset. Whereas with this, the basic and ultra, you can't really be upset. And we'll go down a bit later and we'll talk about the prices, but you've got two options. You can either choose one or the other. You can't really feel like you're being left out. You're essentially eliminating the chances, extra chances that your customers might find ways to be angry at you. So having a basic, an ultra disc system, I think just makes total, total sense. And this, 
the Illuvatas album, a collection game players try to fill to get rewards. This is going to be madness. This is the thing that I've seen Roger, Kieran, Andrew be hinting at on Twitter in interviews. This album game, essentially, this is just going to add another layer to what is meant to be a PFP project. It's just meant to be profile pictures, but with Illuvium, they can't stop it there. They need to take it one step further. So I'm really excited to see what they have planned for this. Before we go any further, I do need to point this out. I know I've seen in the IIP chat in Discord, a lot of people have just overlooked this. SILV2 will still be usable after onboarding to IMX. So for those with SILV2, you don't need to worry. If you want to get more of that, this is not financial advice, but go ahead and do that. You're not going to be left out. We will be able to onboard SILV2 onto IMX. I don't believe they've built that system just yet, but it should be coming. Okay, so now we're moving on to the exciting thing. I know the thing that everyone wants to talk about is the pricing. So like we mentioned before, there are two discs available. A basic disc costs 0.015 ETH, which is amazing. It's not that expensive to get into it. It's about 25 US dollars and it's just not a stretch. And even better than the low price, again, there is no gas fees, but better than the low price, it contains one random Aluvatar and three random accessories plus a free tier zero. So you're getting two Aluvatar PFPs with this and three random accessories. That is wild. Compared to what we were previously looking at, this is so, so much better. And the fact that one disc comes with three random accessories means you're not gonna have to buy separate accessory discs. You're actually gonna be able to build up a whole bunch of accessories if you buy a bunch of discs. And the second disc that's available, the Ultra Disc, only costs 0.075 ETH. That is 125 US dollars. So it's a little bit more expensive than the basic disc, but really $125 is not crazy. That's the price for a couple of video games. It's not really breaking the bank, which is what's so exciting about this. The Ultra Disc is the same setup as the basic disc, but instead of getting a tier zero, we're actually gonna be getting a higher tier Illuvatar and, and it includes at least one guaranteed rare which is really cool. So what that really means, we don't know yet. Does a guaranteed rare mean a tier five? Does guaranteed rare mean a, a, a hollow, a shiny? Um, it's hard to say, but obviously there'll still be different levels to the rarity, right? So I think that's where the fun's gonna be if you're going down that road. Also, just because the ultra disc guarantees you a rare does not mean that the basic disc does not give you the, the possibility the the chance of getting a rare. You still do, it's just not guaranteed. So if you actually pull a rare from a basic disc, you're gonna feel a lot more of a boss than if you just paid for it with the ultra disc. <laughs> he goes into a bit more details with the discs here. The player no longer purchases a crate with one random Illuvatar, you now get two, which is awesome. Also, he talks about how the discs, you can open them whenever you want, so it's not opened automatically and you can keep a closed disc for as long as you want at any point. Going down into the three tier zero Illuvatars, so he talks about how tier zero Illuvatars were technically free, the product was free, but it cost about $20 to mint due to gas fees. So even though the product was free, you'd still be paying $20 for, for the gas. But with the layer two, they're actually able to push that price up to $25, give or take the current pricing of ETH, but $25 to get, like I said, an actual Illuvatar plus three accessories, plus that tier zero. So anyone that does actually want to get the tier zeros, you will need to be getting some of the basic discs. As much as I just want to go crazy with the ultra discs, I might have to get some of the basic discs just to get the tier zeros as well. So now we're going into the fun stuff, the Illuvatar album. Essentially, it's a collection game where collectors attempt to complete collections. Pages of Illuvatars all linked by a single attribute. So think of it this way. Imagine collecting all of the water Illuvatars or the rogue Illuvatars or the fire Illuvatars or maybe even all the tier one Illuvatars. So all of these categories and collections, you're gonna try to complete them to get some rewards. He says that there are actually over 500 collections. So there are so many different collections that you can go after. It's gonna make it really fun to see which way people go and how they approach this mini game essentially. For every Illuvatar that you get into your collection, you get points. And if you complete the entire collection, you get even more points. And you might get rewards at the end of it. Rewards could be anything then. We don't actually know what they are just yet. They could be, for example, a rare accessory. Maybe in the game, imagine getting a water collection skin. 
that no one else has or maybe only a few people have that you only get when you complete the water collection. I think things like this, the opportunities are endless. I think this is a great way to actually build that community hype and community conversations, talking to each other, building relationships. Yo, I see you have that one. I need that one. Any chance we can create it? What if I give you this? It just creates a lot of community activity and engagement. So I think the whole idea of this Aluvata album is honestly, I don't know who came up with it, but it is genius. So to end this off, he says that they have a chance to make Aluvata something truly unique as one of the first and best art sales on layer two. And I agree. This is a huge potential and I really, really hope they do it well. I know it's going to take a bit of time for them to do this, but I really want them to do it well because everything in this IIP even based on the conversations and the, the discussion that I'm seeing in the IIP chat in Discord, compared to the last one, the majority of people feel like this is the way that we should be heading and this is exactly why I love this whole DAO concept. They put out something originally, we disagreed with it, and now they're changing their approach to give the community what they want. And I think this, if this goes well the way I think it's going to go, this is extremely bullish for Alluvium. He does say that some of these changes may require a rework, but the underlying tech of the NFTs themselves don't change. So there will be development time, but he says not too much. Honestly, I'm not going to hold him to that. I understand these timelines change, things happen. Uh, and obviously, we're now going to be working with IMX. So a lot of it's going to be both of us getting our jobs done and then make sure everything is ready. So it happens when it happens. But this is definitely the way that I want to go. And, and I really, really appreciate this direction that we're going to be taking this. Anyway, guys, that is the IIP that we got today. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys for? Are you guys against this new IIP, this new direction that we're taking? Are you guys excited about Aluvatars? Are you guys looking at getting basic discs, ultra discs? How many are you getting? Yo, I am so excited about this. I'm not going to lie. I'm holding on to like 50 SILV2 and I'm going to go crazy with this. If you like this type of content, as always, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.